so I got a bit of confirmation and I'm actually glad I got some official confirmation before I made this video because sometimes it is a little bit nicer to go off of official word rather than just speculating but I can say that a lot of y'all were right let's get into it what's going on everyone it's your boy Uj and of course we are back again once again how y'all doing today so today's video we're going to be talking about yet yeah, some other legend news and of course if you haven't already heard by now uh we are gonna have nasir pasha the creator of legend right here oh, oh. thank you thank you thank you yeah so he's gonna be here on the channel in a bunch of different pieces um but if you want to go see the full episode check out the full power podcast and make sure you are subscribed to it with the bell on because you should be subscribed to the full power podcast that's neither here nor there today i wanted to talk to you guys and confirm something that yes i can say i can confirm this because nasir and i have been talking and obviously it, it, it's like that okay it's like that now okay so you know whatever we're trying to figure out sometimes he'll 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 throw me a bone but yes because a lot of us were already on the mark with this and as a community we've just been theorizing like crazy nasir did the, the nice thing and actually threw through the bone because we were already pretty much figuring it all out anyway so what we're talking about is how far along is this in the future let's get into it so for those that don't know this is exactly what i'm referring to this whole 31xx right new dominion after frieza so originally what i've been saying and i've been questioning right is how far along in the future is this anyway i mean we can already confirm that and i've already confirmed this um within one of the last few uh theory videos so if you haven't checked that out go ahead and do so af quite literally stands for after freezer so if you missed out on that well there you go but still check out the video would indicate that this was in the year 3100 something but today i can confirm that it is in fact not that far along because that would literally mean that this john would be over 1100 years in the future and to be honest that's kind of like why i was starting to question i wasn't too confident with just believing that theory altogether because let's face it if they were that far into the future how the hell or how did frieza and all of them really just live that long and I, you know that's why i was also questioning and like trying to figure out like how does aging for the saiyans and all these other races work in this continuity but we can you know kind of wipe the sweat off our foreheads because it ain't that crazy and it is in fact 31 years in the future and i can't confirm this so you know for those that think i'm lying or whatever trust me i would not make this up and those that know me know that my track record for reporting things is not on some i'm just gonna make stuff up out of my ass i literally have official confirmation from this year aka the creator himself so there it is as far as that goes here's a couple other things that i wanted to say so now that we've figured out that this all takes place 31 years after the events taking place within this tournament aka april 26 1989 which was already shown in the poster so in case anyone did miss it um it is shown right here the official date the start date of where this whole story takes place so this does take place in the 80s 1989 that's when, literally when dragon ball started and so now that we have confirmation that this takes place 31 years after Frieza's death is not necessarily 31 years after this because remember we have to figure out well that's something that we actually don't know is when exactly did Frieza get conquered okay so we can at least for now we're now under the assumption or I guess we can also confirm, confirm this because I mean it wouldn't make sense otherwise right what we can say now is that in this continuity um the saiyans of course especially at this point in time in the story are all alive and well okay and for all we know at this point in time this is kind of maybe where this war started right so this begs the question now that we know that there is a war in place and the vegeta went back in time to presumably collect goku and goku seems to be some sort of an ace up their sleeve so that way they can make sure that frieza stays defeated i really wonder exactly how that's all gonna play out and if there was someone from the frieza side of you know this whole war that 
is trying to almost prevent that from happening, right? I'm gonna leave y'all with that. This is this video is kind of a little bit more on the shorter side of things because there is a war video that I do have planned in the future. So definitely, again, subscribe. Make sure that you're liking these videos so that way we get more people theorizing and really adding more to the conversation with all these legend videos because this is, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say it one more time. This is the hottest thing in the Dragon Ball community right now. <laughs> So that goes without saying, um, but yeah, let me know all of your thoughts and um, definitely y'all, I feel, I'll feel free to chime in exactly on how uh, far along, especially with the aging part, right? Because again, we, we do know that Saiyans age a lot differently than, you know, mortals or humans or whatever, especially earthlings at least that we can take from the original continuity, right? That, that has obviously been borrowed and i guess adapted into legends continuity but i guess in the comments let me know how far along do you think the aging goes with as far as the saiyans and versus the earthlings and 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 i know that some of you all have already been talking about um some concepts with how did goku get sent there or you know who sent goku there or what happened that they sent goku on earth and did they send broly somewhere and goku like I, there's a lot of different things again lots of more videos that are coming you guys way so again, shout outs to all you guys for supporting and make sure you guys are subbed to the Full Power Podcast channel because that's where you're going to see the full episode, a two hour special with Nasir and the rest of the gang. So as always, your last reminder to like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links will be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are paying attention to the description because a lot of important links like Nasir's Patreon, Nasir's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are subbed to him as well and keep supporting that Patreon. The Patreon is still growing, by the way. He's like over 2,500. Um, so he's on the on that way to, the, to goal number four. Goal number three, he only has four goals so three out of four goals demolished right so let's keep this going so that way you know he can we can get the for two so take care of yourselves may the power take you with lock little right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay south see you guys next time